of fun all the time. And sometimes contests, you know, when we contest is a bit different because everyone's a bit more, you know, like quiet and trying to concentrate. But it's the best when we travel together. We don't have to worry about contests or competition. We can just have fun. About anything. In Hawaii, usually it's always a girls party. Guys are not allowed. <laughs> we did that a couple of times, and then it's so funny. It just, yeah, it's a big girls, you know, table. You gotta be drunk, you know how it is. <laughs> it's over. Let's have fun. I grad graduated, I finished the high school and the psychology now. That singing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Canta. laughs> I may try but nobody like it heard me. <laughs> competition uh, we we definitely not talk to each other much Let's go. really like concentrate until the end of the heat then we come in and we well, then we talk about the heat and then we you know just try to relax yeah, and after the contest back everything like let's go party let's go mm. you know it's not no, no, don't hold on no. yeah <laughs> like um doesn't matter who won we go to the party and you know we have celebrate, fun. Together. Yeah, celebrate together Everyone wants the good way for yourself, so <laughs> I don't. Yeah, competition is yeah. different. We, we cheer like if if the girl, the other get a good way, we wow, yeah, insane, you know. But we don't say, oh, go on this one. You you want the wives to come for you, you know. You want to win. You're in the competition, you you want to win for sure. You know, you gotta you know I gotta know how to lose, but you definitely want to win all the time, you know. And um. And definitely, if you see someone getting a good wave and doing a great maneuver, you might go, wow, but you might go, oh, oh. You know, it's like, oh, now I gotta go and try to find one that's good to do the same, you know?
from Hawaii, Japan, Europe, they all reaping out there and it's pretty competitive. I just thank God for sending me good waves. That's all I need, three good waves and do my job. The field of bodyboarders in the quarterfinals included women from Australia, Portugal, Japan, Hawaii, and Brazil. Yeah, last year I competed and I won um, the contest. And, and I, I like this wave because I used to stay a lot in Oceanside, which is um, similar to Huntington. So I like it better in the mornings. It's always glassy. Solid wave selection and a little luck would push eight bodyboarders into the semis. After surfing all earlier rounds in windblown choppy afternoon conditions, the women were excited to surf the semis in morning glass with a building swell. Yeah, we're pretty stoked about the waves coming up a little bit, and actually it's the first time we surf in the morning time, which is uh, not windy at all, and uh, it helped us out a lot. The conditions are getting way better, and that's what everybody wants to see, you know. The bigger the, bigger the waves, the better the show. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I just um, won my heat just then. I'm going into the final, which will be on this afternoon for women's bodyboarding. And first final I've ever made in the World Tour event, so I'm pretty excited to go in there and see how I'm going to do. My heat was very hard. Um, the Australian girl got a good wave in the beginning, so it made it really hard for us. I got my last wave, which made me uh, go to the final, so I'm very happy with that, that one. The Hawaii, Japan, Europe, they all reaping out there and it's pretty competitive. I just thank God for sending me good waves. That's all I need, three good waves and do my job. The field of bodyboarders in the quarterfinals included women from Australia, Portugal, Japan, Hawaii and Brazil. Yeah, last year I competed and I won um, the contest. And, and I, I like this wave because I used to stay a lot in Oceanside, which is um, similar to Huntington. So I like it better in the mornings. It's always glassy. Solid wave selection and a little luck would push eight bodyboarders into the semis. After surfing all earlier rounds in windblown choppy afternoon conditions, the women were excited to surf the semis in morning glass with a building swell. Yeah, we're pretty stoked about the waves coming up a little bit and actually it's the first time we surf in the morning time, which is uh, not windy at all and uh, it helped us out a lot. The conditions are getting way better and that's what everybody wants to see, you know, the bigger the, bigger the waves, the better the show. Um, yeah, I just, I just um, won my heat just then. I'm going into the final, which will be on this afternoon for women's bodyboarding and first final I've ever made in the World Tour event. So. I'm pretty excited to go in there and see how I'm going to do. My heat was very hard. Um, the Australian girl got a good wave in the beginning, so it made it really hard for us. I got my last wave, which made me uh, go to the finals, so I'm very happy with that, that one. The final saw a diverse field of women hit the water. Kira Llewellyn from Australia, Carla Costa Taylor from Hawaii, Daniela Frietes Ronquillo from Brazil, and Heloise Barreau from Guadeloupe. the U.S. Open Women's Bodyboarding Division, Daniela Fridas. Tell us how you feel about this huge victory. I'm very happy I won. Um, I've been training very hard in Hawaii. That's where I live right now. And every day it's like I've been practicing very hard and kept trying to win my third world title. And this victory here at Huntington was really important for me. existentes na ilha. Waimea é onde quebra uma das maiores ondas de Oahu, reunindo a nata dos big riders que dropam as ondas grandes. Outro local bastante frequentado em North Shore é o Rock Point, 
o pico possibilita um surf de alta performance, transformando o lugar numa verdadeira arena de manobras radicais. As vibrações havaianas com ondas alucinantes, você assiste no Mundo Surf EXM.